Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to walk through how to install proprietary NVIDIA drivers on your Arch Linux based system or your Arch Linux based distribution. Now, when we're talking about distributions, you will most likely have an option to install the proprietary drivers through the distribution ISO itself or through the installer. But on vanilla systems or systems where you might not have used that option to install your proprietary drivers, this video will cover how to do that especially if you are on Arch Linux. So the first thing you want to do is obviously find out which graphics driver you have. You could use NC or you could basically do an LSPCI. So LSPCI-V and this is going to actually spit out a lot of verbose output. So we are going to narrow it down to just the graphics stuff. So which is VGA. And as you can see in the system, I have a GTX 750 Ti. Now what the wiki says is that for Maxwell or newer cards, you want to install the NVIDIA package for the Linux kernel. So let's find out the kernel that we have. So you name dash R and I have the standard Arch Linux kernel for which I can install the NVIDIA package. Now, if you have the LTS or the Zen kernel, then you might want to install the NVIDIA DKMS package. So I'll just repeat again. If you have the standard kernel, then the NVIDIA package is what you want to install. If you have LTS or Zen or whatever, you want to install the DKMS package. Now, how do you find out what is Maxwell and what series your card belongs to? So the wiki actually uh, suggests over here that you go to Nuvo's wiki's page, because if you look at what we are using right now, uh, we basically have, if I run NC again, uh, you will see that we are using Nuvo. And Nuvo is basically a free and open source uh, driver maintained by the community. This is not maintained by NVIDIA. Uh, the official proprietary drivers are obviously maintained by NVIDIA. So Nuvo is great for like just having your display and doing your basic tasks. But if you want to do graphics intensive tasks, for example, gaming or video editing on your Linux system, then definitely uh, the NVIDIA proprietary drivers perform way, way better. So. Uh, Nuvo's wiki page uh, basically has a list of code names that you can go ahead and look. Uh, as the wiki suggests, we want to have Maxwell or Nuvo. So let's go ahead to the wiki uh, to the Nuvo, Nuvo wiki and search for our model. So 750 Ti, and as you can see, it is basically a Maxwell chipset. Now, while this is a great way to find out, I also will recommend that you go ahead and look at the Wikipedia page of all Nvidia devices. So when we talk about uh, Maxwell and Nuvo, we basically mean that Maxwell, Pascal, uh, Volta, Turing, Ampere, Ada, Lovelace, all of these cards are supported. So obviously this can get a little confusing. Uh, it's better on the Wikipedia page. So if you look at this, uh, the 700 series are Kepler basically. However, if you look at this, the GM107 chips are Maxwell. Everything else, which is the GK XXX are Kepler. So all of these GK chips are uh, Kepler, uh, 710, 720, 730. However, when we come down to 745 or 750 or the 750 Ti, these are the GM107 uh, chips, which are basically following the Maxwell architecture. So we are talking about CPU, uh, the GPU architecture over here. And obviously the 900 series and the 10 and 20 and 30 and 40 series uh, are all supported. So with that said, let's go ahead and install the packages. So sudo pacman dash s nvidia that's the first package that we want to install we also want to install nvidia utils and then we want to install the settings one uh, settings package so nvidia settings this will have uh, the x server settings uh, that is a graphical tool to basically set a few things up here and there uh, with respect to your gpu so let's go ahead and uh, install these packages now nvidia utils is important because NVIDIA Utils basically has a file that will blacklist Nuvo. We don't want to have uh, conflicting boot modes once you are up. So I'll be back when this is done. All right, so the packages have finished installing. There are a few things that you might want to take a look at. The first one is if you have a newer GPU and by newer, I mean from the Turing architecture or the Ada Lovelace architecture, which means the 30 and the 40 series, what you want to do, what you might want to do is install the NVIDIA open package. Uh, what happened basically is a bunch of hackers hacked into NVIDIA and asked them to open source all of their graphics drivers. 
So that is available since the 30 and the 40 series for the 30 and 40 series. If you have Kepler or older cards, which basically means that uh, 700 series and older, then you might want to install something from the AUR for the Kepler series, particularly the NVIDIA uh, 470 XX DKMS is the package that you want to download. Uh, now that we have all of this stuff uh, installed for us, we can open the X server settings and I'll show you the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, the thing is, this is not loaded. All right, so as you can see, we have the kernel driver in use Nuvo, but we already have our NVIDIA drivers installed, right? So what we want to do is go ahead and reboot our system. And there we have it. So now when we launch our NVIDIA X server settings, uh, you can see that the GPU information shows up over here. And obviously you can set stuff up from here. And that is basically it. This is how we install NVIDIA proprietary drivers on your Arch Linux system.